What's up guys, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So today we have a quick unboxing of something that I've been really trying to get for a while. And the reason I'm making a video is because I did buy one a few months ago and it didn't work. So it's a weight plate holder for an existing squat rack that you have, kind of like a add-on attachment. So um, I did find out a little bit more about how to order one and hopefully I did this right. The only part that I was worried about on the ordering of this was the diameter of the hole was a little bit different, but um, I kind of went for it and I'm hoping for the best. So the company is Yes For All. I'll put a link in the description below. By the way, if you are looking for unboxing videos or review videos for your products, whether it's fitness related or home goods or anything, please email me at thrifttime at gmail.com, T-H-R-I-F-T. T I M E at gmail.com and please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It makes a huge difference in what we can do. So, this is the guy, and this is really what I was worried about that's really small compared to the giant hole here. But um, the diameters of these is what I was worried about more importantly, and, and I got it right. I'm actually really excited about that. You have no idea. So the diameter, I'm not super worried about it. Come on over here and check this out. So the diameter, it looks a little bit too big or whatever, but I honestly don't think that's a huge issue. Come back, step over here real quick. And then look over here. If you can see it, there's a slight angle up, which is cool so the plates don't fall off. And I'm gonna grab a plate and test it out because honestly, <clears throat> I'm actually really super excited about this because I've wanted this for a while. And this is exactly why, because I have to walk all the way over there. Everybody has to walk over there to go get plates. And it's going to be really cool that we can have a few right here. So this is awesome because it's not actually where it's going to go. So it's probably going to go like somewhere over here. And the plates will be right here. And we're going to load a few up real quick. How much time we got on that video? It's in two minutes and 30 seconds. So, most people... Oh, you have two minutes. This is... Most people maybe not lifting more than three plates or something. Or if you have thinner plates. We tend to use bumper plates a lot here because... Well, because we like them. And they're blue. For boot. But you can do something like that. You can even go even lower and then you can get another one for here and then here you can do 45, 25s and 10s. I'm really excited about this. I hope you guys like it. That's 135 pounds on there. I have no doubt in my mind that you can put more on there. But the one cool thing is in addition to that the company sends you these little things, which is nice because I'm all about safety first in all honesty. I call these little donuts. These slide on like that, stopping the weights from randomly falling off. The whole set for two of those and the donuts was 28 bucks in free shipping. It'll be in the link in the description below. I hope you guys like the video. Oh, and most important, most important, I almost forgot. This is a two by three inch frame. You can stop the video. You can stop it. Here. It's already recording. Sorry we had some issues with recording, but you're going to get a tape measure or a measuring ribbon or anything like that. Come over here real quick and see, this is gonna be a depth of three inches, okay? And then a width of roughly two inches. The diameter of the hole is important, but not nearly as important as the frame size. They sell two different sizes. Make sure you're purchasing the right one. If you look in the pictures on the description and the actual ad of the link in the description below, swipe through the pictures and it'll show you exactly how to measure it. Make sure you're getting the right one. Have a good day and thanks for watching.